Good afternoon, y'all. This is Ned. And this is Michelle. And collectively, we are MyPhilippineDreams.com. Welcome to another episode of Weekly Wrap-Up, where we recount the goings-on in our rather uneventful lives. Um, how's the weather been? Cold and wet. Very cold and very wet. Again, I've been spending a lot of time in my flannel pajamas. Um, <laughs> I finally found a reason to bring them. This morning, it was 76 degrees. It was the coldest it's been in where we're living in Dumaguete. Uh, so yeah, and it's rainy. It's been rainy for the last couple of days. Yesterday we had brownout, all day brownout. Usually I notice it on the Facebook page, the Noriko Facebook page, um, but we missed it. So we had all day brownout and it was rainy. So we basically trapped them in the house the whole day. Yeah, we did, um, we cleaned the house, cleaned the furniture, so. Yeah, because we still have the mildew problem. <laughs> Don't buy particle board furniture in a tropical country. <laughs> So first, uh, like a month ago, we tried the vinegar and the mildew came back a little bit. Not as bad as it was. So yesterday we used the 10% bleach. So hopefully this time, because that was a lot of work. Mm -hmm. But we had nothing else to do because it was brown out. Um, but <laughs> we I was were very, trapped. We were trapped, yeah. Yeah, it was raining it was, and then the brown out. Yep. And it was, eight, it was eight hours. And if I looked at the board, if I looked at the Facebook page, I would have known that. But thank God we had our cell phones and our Bluetooth speaker because we were able to rock out all day. Um, I also went and got x-rays done on my spine, my back issues. Um, ever since Mabini, I found out that I broke my back back in September. I have two small um, compression fractures. And now I have what's called lumbar spondylosis, which isn't much fun. Um, you can actually see how crazy my spine looks in the x-rays. Uh, so we're going to deal with that. I'm going to get the MRIs in the States when I go visit to find out exactly what it is, exact diagnosis, because lumbar spondylosis is, is not really a diagnosis. Um, and you were sick. Yeah, I was sick. I was sick for four or five days. Yeah, like a week. <laughs> Deathly ill. You can hear the kids screeching in the background. <laughs> um, yeah, you were deathly ill. Yeah, I have to... Is that Andrew? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Um, so, yep. Um, but you're feeling better now? Yes. Feeling yep. better now. She's cooking. But I was out for two days. Like, uh, I was just in bed the whole day. Yeah, you slept for like three days total. Um, <laughs> I thought you were hibernating. Like a Filipino bear, she bear. Um, videos, we did the basic Pasaya, mm -hmm. um, which is actually Cebuano. Cebuano. Um, it's not Pasaya. Um, just some basic phrases and greetings. I'm going to do some more of those videos. Yes. Um, we did the phones in the Philippines, how to use phones in the Philippines. Um, it's not that difficult. It's, uh, if you want to check that out, you can see we did a website entry on it and we did the video. Mm -hmm. um, and finally, we had a problem with Nano. Nano is the youngest of the family. She's how old? Um, six. She's six and she's a cutie, but what happened? I came home from the store with my scooter and got off the bike to open the gate and I left my scooter idle and then Nana came running I didn't notice her and then she twisted the the bike it, it was, uh, she just like it didn't fell on her so, so the, the scooter the, fell and she got now she got problem with her grandmother because uh, as a punishment she's not allowed to come here for a few days. Yeah, she's been banished. <laughs> she's been banished from playtime. Cause yeah, she came, twisted the throttle, the bike went off the kickstand, fell on the ground. It's a good thing it didn't fall and crush her. Yeah. Because she's small. And uh, even though the Lucy's not that big. So this is how kids learn. You know, it's like you can tell them not to touch the stove because <laughs> it's hot, but until they actually touch the stove. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we're glad she survived and the Rusi <laughs> fell again, but hey, at least we haven't got the new paint job on it yet. Uh, yeah, just some, some gas spill. Yeah, some gas spilled out of it, some crankcase oil, burst into flames, but we got it under control. Uh, and Michelle is making Be Cool Express yes. right now. This morning I made French toast and eggs. Yes, but that's delicious. It was delicious? Yes, it's deli. Yeah. See, my advice to you is always have people underestimate you. My 
motto throughout life is always been up to the low expect live up to the low expectations that you set for yourself. Because once you know people know like you know how to cook or that you have a truck and pickup truck, they're gonna want things from you. So live up to those low expectations and I'm don't going let... to have him cook breakfast from now on. <laughs> yeah, and, and I did the dishes. But this is this is the only thing you know. No, I know other things, but I'm not gonna tell. I know how to boil hot dogs. <laughs> so that's about it. That's our exciting week. Um, we're still trying to go to Oslo to see the whale sharks, but oh, like the weather. Yeah, it's been, it was rainy, and I really want it to be sunny for the underwater footage of the whale sharks. That'd be really cool. Oh, we're also going to be setting up. We want to get the kids, the family over there. We want to uh, we want to get them a big wheel. Mm -hmm. For those of my generation and older, you know what big wheels are. So we're gonna we're gonna price one of those in town, and we're gonna set up a little donation thing on the website and uh, track the incoming donations, and we're gonna get that for the kids. So that's something we're gonna be doing. So that's about it. Uh, until next time, this is Ned, and this is Michelle, and we are my Philippine Dreams. Check out our website. We got some cool stuff. We've done some changes, and I haven't broke it yet. Take care. Bye. Good afternoon, y'all, and welcome. <laughs>